Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to CrossFit ELM's at home workouts. And uh, we're starting Monday off, we're starting this week off with some basic fitness. We're gonna test how well you can move and how fast you can move doing the basics. So here's our workout, our warm up workout and cool down. Warm up, we've got eight push ups at a tempo of four, one, four, one. That's four count down, one count hold, four count up, one count hold. And you have 10 hollow rocks. Eight squats at a 4141 again, and 10 flutter kicks. Now, why are we doing these tempos? The tempos are to get your tendons and muscles ready and your joints ready for the high volume that you're gonna face in this workout, which is five rounds of 20 push-ups, 40 sit-ups, and 60 squats. This is about moving well through this, using really good technique, making sure that all of the right, all of the body parts are moving the right way, staying focused on good technique, but also moving fast. This is a test of fitness. Just because it's basic movements doesn't mean it can't test you. It will test you, I promise. Okay, and then we're gonna finish up with a minute of couch stretch and a minute of twisted goal post. So, uh, basics here, guys. So you have three rounds on the warm-up push-ups. Okay, this is for both of these two movements. What I want you to pay attention to is a lot of times when we're doing push-ups, we get tired or we just get weird or out of position. And what ends up happening is we're bringing our elbows back high like we're up in a T. And that's not where you want to be. You want to set your hands up so they're about even with the middle of your chest. And if you look at my elbows, I'm going to turn around here, look at my elbows. My elbow to my head to my elbow makes kind of like the letter A, okay? We're not looking for T's, okay? Because that's going to round my shoulders out and make them funky. I need to pull my shoulder blades down and create that letter A as I go through my push-ups. Now, you can do these straight up push-ups. You can do them on your knees. You can do them off the back of a chair if you're still working on some of that basic push-up strength, okay? If you're working off the back of a chair and you're getting better at them, then I would say try moving to a lower platform. Maybe you have like a table or something that's a little bit lower or use the, uh, the lower part of the chair instead of the back of the chair. Push yourself into something a little bit more difficult, all right? Hollow rocks, guys, we do these a lot. Um, but again, just to review positions, okay? Arms up overhead, shoulder blades up, float the heels, and then we're rocking, okay? And the goal is to keep my biceps by my ears. When I go to rock, I don't want to do this, okay? And have my arms up here by my chin. I need them by my ears, all right? Squats. Uh, actually, let's do flutter kicks first since I'm down here. So flutter kicks. Tuck in underneath, heels about six inches off, one, two, three, four, and so on. Squats, things to pay attention to here, okay? Number one, and this is the thing to pay attention to basically all the time, because this is probably the biggest fault that I see, is when people do squats, they kind of cave down onto the inside of their foot, and even if they're going to depth, their knee is covering their big toe. Okay, and that's gonna be really harsh on your knees. It's also gonna make the squat really work your thighs. Your, your, your quads will work during a squat, but they shouldn't be the main mover. Your butt should be your main mover. So to do that, I need to uncover my big toe. So I've gotta turn my knees towards my pinky toes. So when I squat, it should almost look like a butterfly. Okay, um, the other thing is working on that posture. So if I need for balance to hold my arms out in front to hold my good posture, then that's what I'm gonna do. I don't wanna see people diving forward, right? When I get to here, I don't wanna be like this, okay? I need to try and squat straight up and straight down, all right? Sit-ups, guys, use an ab mat if you have it. If you don't, roll up a towel, like a kitchen towel, to support your low back, okay? Then we're doing a minute of couch stretch. We're going, Leg goes against that wall or the back of your couch. Pinned up, coming up, good posture there, okay? And then twisted goal post. We're turning our arms into goal post, packing those shoulders back. Don't let them drop, droop down. Pack the shoulders back and then rotate 
over top and get a good stretch there. All right, that is your Monday workout. Have a great workout, folks, and we will see you tomorrow.